This is Kay and me at Pismo Beach in California during my basic training. Pismo Beach is above San Francisco at Paso Robles. I was home on leave before going overseas to ETO. This is Kay's brother and a friend who were in the Navy. This is while I was gone. They just had a visit. This is another weekend at Bismo Beach with some friends from Camp Roberts. Uh, Vienna in about 1990. No, I wasn't wounded at the Battle of the Bulge. However, almost did die from this. I had been in an automobile accident in Fort Sill and the next day I had pneumonia and I was uh, in a coma for three days. While I was out, my sister from Denver came by and visited me. She was on her way to Chicago. This is another page from that book of German paintings. Pismo Beach again. This is a statue in Munich. I'm sitting there somewhere. Hard to see, it looks like. Another painting from that book, the uh, binding was falling apart, so I had to take all the pages out. The little girl is one of those that I picked up in Salzburg in 19, that would be June of 1945. Then I went back in 1995 and had the whole country looking for them and they were able to find them. We had a, a great re- Berlin, 1945. The Reichstag is over on the left. This is the Brandenburg Gate. All large German cities seem to have a gate of some kind. A friend and I went down into Hitler's bunker, which is over on the left. And there was nothing left by then to bring home as a souvenir. But what long before the Russians came and kicked us out, because I guess it was under their jurisdiction. In 1985 or 90, whatever it was, I revisited the Maginot Line where I was in 1945. This is a prison of war camp near Darmstadt, which is, oh, maybe 15 miles south of Munich. That was one of, under our jurisdiction. And I'd gone out with the colonel one day. I guess he was checking into it. We were also denazifying uh, the captives. Castle, picture taken from a moving vehicle, so it's not very good. Austrians in Salzburg going over our trash. Now this is the family picture of Kay, me, and Diane immediately after I had been drafted. And when I was in the process of being sent home, we went to a place called Marburg, which was a replacement depot for returning us home. And right in the area where we slept and camped out, there were these German graves. The Germans had been killed late in the war and even the helmets have been left undisturbed by the thousands who went through this era, area. But also at this place, the uh, German kids were still collecting uh, the leftovers as we left the mess hall. There was still much hunger and starvation in uh, Germany. For a couple of years after the war, the Allies didn't allow any foodstuffs into Germany, so they had to provide what they had, which wasn't enough really to keep them alive. There was a lot of hunger. One of the pictures taken of me when I was in training there at Camp Roberts, ferocious looking, ain't I?
another statue, or maybe even one of in Munich. I'm sitting there on it. I, I don't know if it might even be the same one. The other one was so dark I couldn't tell. This is back in Salzburg. This is where the war ended and our headquarters was. It stayed there till we moved up into Germany a few weeks later. This is in Salzburg, close to where the sign was. It's all at the same place. We had taken over this residence, gave the guy 15 minutes to get out. And uh, my room was right behind this. And uh, it's on the deck. If you, I, don't, I have a picture of the whole house, but you probably not, will not see it. me next to a replica of a German tank with a, an 88 millimeter gun on it, which was claimed by many to be the most ferocious weapon of World War II. It could, a shell could go right through an American tank, which is enclosed in four inches of armor. In fact, they were call Ronsons when they come up against one of these Tiger tanks with an 88. We left to go home on the SS McAndrew from Bremerhaven. And I don't know where this was. Don't think it was Marburg, could have been, where we were headed up to Bremerhaven to take the boat. This is the train we went on. Another view of me with the same tank, I believe, there at Fort Sill. In late June, I think it was, 1945, we left Salzburg to go up and occupy the area around Kassel, Germany. We, the headquarters of the 3rd Infantry Division Artillery, went into a little town called Melsungen, which is about 15 miles south of Castle. And this is on the way up there. I drove one of the trucks. I was a radio operator, but I was still no vacancy, so I was just marking time doing driving. Now, this is one of the grown-up girls that I had my picture taken with in Salzburg in a May of, or early June, 1945. In Munich, near the city hall was a bombed out museum. And I went inside and uh, had my picture taken with this ancient statue, probably of Rome or Greece, most likely Rome. This is Darmstadt in 1945, would probably be around September. We have moved down to Salz or Darmstadt from, from Melsungen. It would have been totally demolished one night, killing 25,000 civilians, they say 25,000. Today, they'd be considered them innocent civilians, sort of a war crime, I guess, but even in that war, civilians were also the enemy. Going home, Fort Dix, New Jersey. Another of the German paintings, they did the same as U.S. did, cameramen, painters, correspondents.
I think this gate is in Munich. I think that was taken by my Kay's father, and it wasn't very good. We have another one that's better, but don't know where it is. But that was after it built up. That was about eight, let's see, nineteen, yeah, ninety, I guess. This is Munich in about nineteen ninety. 95 when I took the picture after it was rebuilt, of course. Munich City Hall, close by is the Beer Hall where Hitler got his start. Also, there's a museum in the area where I took the pictures of those ancient Roman uh, statues. Aerial view of our concern there near Darmstadt. We were there 50 years later when we visited it with Frank. The SS Europa built in the 30s by the Germans to compete with the Queens of England. Getting ready to come home. There we are at Fort Dix, New Jersey.